The world is yours. By the way, it's, you, you don't get to live here forever. You're a blink of an eye here. Death's on its way. Are you going to be ready for that? Because last time I looked, guys, death is the only thing you get to do once. The only thing you get to do once. Are you going to do it right? Are you going to live your life just trying to preserve life? Preserve the inevitable? Play it safe? All alive? But who's going to live it? There's a kid, man. Um, I so much want to tell you guys. So somebody can cut me off or whatever you want to. But let me tell you what's really... You know, when you're having a tough day, and you're like, man, how do I go on, man? Where's my drive? I'm motivation, man. I, I challenge you to go to that cancer wing, man, your local hospital. See that kid? You know, terminal brain cancer? The one I saw, um, this was when I was in New York. He, uh... He loved that, that old school game, Atari. Um, yeah, so it's, it's like a little, like a little like triangle. And it, it's real old. I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I could probably invent this you know, the game, you know, but Call of Duty, I mean, that's like a whole 3D epic center. But this is just a little like, and, and you hit the little things that fall. I mean, whatever. This kid was good at it, too. Anyway, um, so I went there, we played it, and, you know, we had some time and stuff. I got to know the guy. and. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm competitive. I don't give a shit if I got cancer or not. I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> because I'm not doing him any justice if I sugarcoat it, you know? I'm not trying to be a dick, man. But, you know, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna earn that shit. Man, it's really valuable. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm gonna kick this kid's ass, you know? I, I let him win a little bit, but then I, I'm gonna come back. I could have. The guy was better than me. <laughs> I had to go to like eight stores, like antique stores, to find this game. So I could go home and practice it. So I want I want to come back in a vengeance, you know? So I did. I went and found the damn game. I put it up. I got the I got the 70-inch screen. You know, I can really see it all, man. I got the unfair advantage. So anyway, I go there, I start training with him again. I say training, but that's what he was, man. It's a competition. The kids sitting there with long, you know, the priest is coming there giving him his last rites. I'm sitting there trying to feed him. What an asshole. So um, I went there and, uh, and um, you know, we're talking and at 11 o'clock I kick you out, you know, because visiting hours are done and they have to get their sleep and stuff. And I'm like, all right, bro, I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. And by the way, <laughs> I picked up the game. Yeah, so when you lights out, can't play, I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be training. I'm going to be getting ahead. I'm going to come back tomorrow and kick your ass. And he's like, no, I'm going to be playing tonight too. I go, no, 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 you're not allowed to. He goes, yeah, I play every night at night time. I go, that's bullshit. I, I grab the nurse, I go, he's playing at night time. He's playing, you, I, I thought lights out. But you're gonna have to take the system away. The, the kid's cheating in here. <laughs> no, the kid's dying in there. What a dick. Um, he goes, oh, Greg, I, I, I play in my head. I go, what's that mean? He goes, I, 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 I shoot the... Uh, He goes, um, I shoot the cancer in my head, nighttime, and, um, and, uh, man, fucking floored me, floored me. I, um, I know what he meant, by the way. Um, I lived in New York, was that 12 years ago? He had six months to live. Um, he just turned 22. Um, don't tell me the mind isn't the strongest muscle you got. There's nothing medicine can do. I was in there when the priest read his last rites. He would never see his teenage years. Motherfucker out the bar is drinking, picking up women right now. All because of the tarot. <laughs> Asteroids. I learned so much from people that are so much better than me. He's one of them. You know, people like, hey man, you know, congratulations, you've done good, you've done good. I'm like, I'm just a shell of so many people better than me. From my parents, my sister, my competition, my enemies, my coaches, teachers, all these people that gave a shit about me for a moment. They challenged me. And, you know, when I was down, you know, you know these people that lend a hand to get me back up. 
try to pay it forward. And, um, and, and that's a good life, man. You know, fly back to LA on Monday. If that plane goes down, everyone's freaking out. I'll be the only guy being like, it's all good. It's cool. I appreciate the time that was given. The best I could. The time I had. The ability to do it. I don't know how much more time I got. So, I try, I try to live on something that, and I can't take any of it with me. I really can't. You know, maybe I can, you know, I can get the memories, but the possessions, the houses, all this ego principle shit we all go to school for and we're trained for. Get the big car, you know, get the Ferrari driving around top down so our dick's only this big and doesn't work so well, so we need a car to make up for that. You know, we can't take any of that, guys.